Good morning guys, it is the first full day here and it's been raining overnight. It's pretty nippy, um, but the views look pretty amazing. Just come out onto the balcony here. It reminds me so much of India, the apartment we have in India, or my family has. It's still quite early, it's just around about half eight in the morning but over here on the right i don't know if you guys can see that in the distance there the mountains are literally just there in snow and um, so i'm looking forward to having an explore today and finding out what there is around town um there's quite a few things to do and the window is open that's the views from the window so yeah we're gonna head down for breakfast shortly looking forward to get some food down us um hopefully it will be nice um and it will take you people in the day and carpet is there but it's naked so no, i'm not gonna put <laughs> into dessert. Just had a monster breakfast. Need a nap, do you need a nap? You've got stuff on your nose. Had a monster breakfast. So breakfast turned into dessert. And what did we have? Had a brownie. I had like a lemon cake, a slice of lemon cake. What else did we have? Had like a croissant, eggs. Um mushrooms, tomato, rice pudding. <laughs> um what else? I had like a cereal with like, just to be a little bit healthy, with like the seeds and dried fruit and stuff in it. But oh my god, that was a monstrous breakfast. So I can write about it all when we get back. But it was, it was good, not gonna lie. We are off out. Carl was just picking his nose. No, it wasn't. <laughs> his skin off. He got burnt at work. So we're heading out for a little while. Then we're going to pick up the car and then we're going to go get checked in and I see a cute dog. It's kind of like super bright now which is great. Careful, someone's just up there as well. Um, I don't know where we're going really. Go that way. Yeah, we'll cross over. So yeah. I had a massive breakfast. Going for a bit of a walk, come back, grab our bags, and then we're gonna check into the second accommodation at the Airbnb place. Hopefully it will be lovely. So we're walking down the market, so my face looks big in that. So we're walking around, I see there's a brown pigeon. Carpish almost bought something at Carpish. But this guy was like proper giving it some hard sales and he's like, oh my god, I should buy this, but they was like, no, we'll come back. Looks like a lot of the shops are still closed though, so thinking that it's going to be opening a little later. But these bars and shops are really cute. Like, this place looks cute. A honey shop.
so many amazing shops. Oh, by the waterfront. Oh, there's a little pug. Oh, no, it's a bulldog. Should we say hello? What? Is that cutie? Oh, So cute. Hi guys, we have now checked out of Samari Hotel. Massive thank you to Samari Hotel for hosting us for the night. Um, absolutely amazing place. I'll be setting up a different, I'll be doing a separate vlog slash highlights video from the stay there, um, along with a post on the blog. So I will be sure to post that once that's up, once we return from the trip. Now we have moved onto the Airbnb accommodation. It took about 15, 20 minutes um, drive from the sort of town area. And it's absolutely incredible. We've just checked in, got everything sorted. The host, is, the host has been absolutely amazing. She just met us out here, parked up. We've come in upstairs. I made it um, known that actually this was a gift for Kalpesh, and it was obviously our sort of like first year anniversary slash um, his birthday present slash Valentine's Day sort of gift. Um, so when we walked in, the first thing that we saw was this. Let me just flip it round. So I feel like she's made it herself or something, which is so nice of her. I um, absolutely love the decor in this place. Check it out, guys. Love the positive vibes and energy. This is basically turning into like a little tour thing. And then we went into the room here and it's so cute. Look what the guys have done for us. She's got like these candles, she's put like a little love sign there. Uh, bedroom, a red and white combination that's perfect. We even have a cheeky bottle of wine for the two of us and little slippers with little love hearts on them. It's so cute. I love the little touches. And she's gone out of her way to really make it special for us. And this is so cute. I absolutely love that. So little touches, Rose. Of course, we are big fans of travel. And it's just about the detail, like everything. I love this mirror here. Carpet is in the bathrooms, so we can't go in there. These prints are absolutely gorgeous. Which you truly absolutely love. There's workspace here, which we've just dumped a couple of things on there. Desk, notepad, some books. I love these shelves here. Some more prints on the wall. This is the main area. I love the decor, the red, white, and black. They smell divine, very cinnamony. Got a TV there. Um, some more prints over here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful venue, uh, location even. Venue, we've also got music photography on the brain here. And table set for two. Our kitchen area, which is neat because we're going to go ahead and get some food shopping in a while. Just some bits and then we come out onto the balcony, guys. Just look. They've got like a massive candle here. Look at these views. It's literally right, right by the water. Really, really happy with it so far. Hopefully there's no glitches on the way but yeah we checked into this place so this is where we're going to be for the next six days that i'm excited it's going to be awesome i um, don't know what we've got planned for the day now i'm going to figure that out when carpish gets back out but yeah it's awesome I'm so excited so we are off carpish is driving we're going to go try and find some of the tombs um so this will be interesting we're looking for what was it called? Eleftherios Venizelos. I believe I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I'm not too sure. Um, we have the map out because it's not picking up on the old 
it's not on the maps is it so yeah we are off let's see what we can find and we're gonna take you guys with us and the views are stunning we also found the balcony you can go further up so you get even clearer views and there's a tangerine tree that's cute so we managed to find the tombstones we are now walking in Carpenter's just taking over the GoPro I think we've got some footage there um, we're gonna go and have a look to see what we can find apparently the views are meant to be pretty awesome from here of the whole town so see what we come out So we are back at the accommodation um, it's been a few hours since I vlogged simply because we ended up going to a monastery now the monastery grounds itself they were absolutely stunning um, it felt like we were in I don't know if you guys have played Uncharted which is a game on PlayStation but the views were absolutely insane there was like ruins um, and you basically walk kind of through the monastery, um, through to the cave, not through to the monastery, but monastery is kind of like on the way. And then it turns into like a walking, um, sort of like a hike type of thing. And then you kind of go past the cave and then you go onto this walkway again and then you go all the way down um, and you end up at these sort of ruins. There was like a really, um, there was like a big bell um, in the actual cave itself. Um, it was actually really, really, amazing um it felt quite surreal to be in those grounds um but basically when you're in the monastery you're not meant to take photos videos that sort of thing i guess out of respect um, and then once you've kind of walked all the way down you go even further down and then you can make your way into the lagoon area um and it was absolutely beautiful. I managed to get some footage on that um, and also some photos. So I'm looking forward to sharing those with you all. Um, absolutely amazing, but that really, the hike really made me tired. Um, and then we had to walk all the way back up. I think it was about maybe an hour and a half each way. Um, so that took us about three hours ish um and then because we didn't really have it planned per se we didn't really know what we were doing today so it's kind of like a nice way to kind of ease yourself into your trip it was awesome um it's now around about let's check what time it is it's now about 6 30 ish oh no i'll tell a lie it's 7 p.m i thought the sun set i read online the sunset was 6 30 but actually it's still super bright which is nice to know this will be amazing because we are road tripping a lot during this trip so it's uh, great to know that actually there's more daylight hour than um what i initially thought according to google um, so then on the way back we ended up going to Lidl. Um, Lidl is basically a supermarket because we have got all these facilities here at the accommodation. So um, we are planning on having breakfast and lunch at the apartment here and then um, evening we'll probably eat out. Uh, saying that we ended up getting food for eating in tonight simply because I think both of us are just tired now. Um, He's just gone for a shower, so um, we ended up just getting heaps of stuff. We've got some cool, got some of these, some of these uh, nougat goodies, chips, Cheetos, cashew nuts, some breakfast cereals, um, some bread, and we've got some desserts, we've got some frozen veg, and then we ended up getting some spinach, tomato, just bits, um, some veg, soy milk and some wine so i will be having wine tonight um but that is about it we're not gonna have we don't have much plan tonight we are literally just going to chill out i guess at the accommodation here um it's been a really good first day um and yeah it's absolutely amazing just to travel um and just to be able to just experience everything i mean it's so, I guess everyone, it, it's quite 
easy to get into a routine of things and working and blah 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 but it's always nice to just kind of break away from that and change you have to just change scenery i think especially for creatives as, as well um it's really inspiring to be visit all these places because it really bends your mind in different ways and then when you go back home it's like your perspectives have changed and whatnot um so first day is over it's been amazing and on to tomorrow. Bye for now.